What is up guys? Welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for that OnePlus 6 and I'm back with the highly anticipated Rhino Shield Crash Guard bumper case to unbox do a quick review as always i'll throw up the link in the video description if you guys want to check it out 24.99 is the price point it comes in two different colors you got a black bumper and a white bumper and i believe you can get both of them on amazon at this point i did get these from rhino shield's website and i pre-ordered it and finally got it so i'm excited to bring this to you guys and see if it's a hit or miss this is going to be for anybody that doesn't know this is going to be one of those bumper cases that just protects basically the top bottom sides the back's gonna be completely exposed so this might be a good option for everybody that's a minimalist that wants to show off the beauty of the phone without actually raw dogging it i mean that's dangerous if you raw dog on a glass back phone i'm not sure about you guys but i don't want to drop it and spend my hard money let's see it just go down the drain with one drop so hopefully this one may be for everybody looking for that we also got some D brand skins coming in. I, I did purchase those. This is not a paid advertisement. I did purchase those. We got some D brand skins on the way, and we're going to do some reviews. We'll test it out with the compatibility of this as well. And I do have this little nifty thing. This is actually going to be a back protector. So this one really might be for everybody that's a minimalist that just wants the protection on the sides, and this is probably going to give you a little more back protection while still showing up that beauty of the phone. So let's check this out, guys, and see if it's a hit or miss. You got the Crash Guard logo right there, Rhino Shield up top for the OnePlus 6. Tells you about your 11-foot impact protection military grade. Sides going to give you more details about Rhino Shield and Crash Guard. And on the back, it's going to be a little more details about the bumper itself. So let's go and check it out, guys, together and see if it's a hit or miss. Been waiting on this one for a little while now, so I'm excited to bring it to you guys so we can bust out the skins, the skin game, and try to check them out and see with how compatible they are. So, if you guys look at this, this is the beauty of this thing. So, it's a, just a bumper case where you can see the com there's completely, you know, there's nothing between it, but you do get this top protection, bottom protection, and there's actually a nice, a little bit of lip protection that you will get as well. So, if you are having it face down you are going to get a little more protection up top and then usually i believe we'll check it out obviously but you should get a little bit of raised bottom as well so it's not completely flush with with the actual bottom of the phone so it should raise it up just a little bit and give you some protection for that as well now this is very flexible it's got some give to it now it is it, it's a nice it, it does feel pretty sturdy i mean i can't say this is the most sturdy thing in the world but it does feel sturdy for a bumper case and they did a nice job with the fine details you can see the inside how they reinforced it all the way around so it's very nice protection that you are getting for such a minimalist packaging or package i should say all the way through now one thing i did have an issue with i believe it was either one plus five or one plus five t version was the buttons were just so hard and not clicky and responsive that's to me that's almost a deal breaker just because i like the feel of a soft clicky button that's just my personal preference so we'll check it out on this one now one thing they do right though is they got this little clicky button right here that's going to be for the alert slider and it makes it really easy access to get to so you don't have to worry about getting your finger digging your finger in there that's just a really nice accessory that they did on this one itself so again I think you got a little bit of branding right let's check it out right there a little bit of branding on the side right there very small very minimalist branding they did not shop with the fine details of this one it took them a while to get this one out so hopefully they did it right let's go and check it out and see if it's a hit or miss together guys make sure i put it on right probably should have read the instructions pop it into place so this is the alert slider got it upside down epic fail almost there we go so then we'll start at the bottom put it into place like that there we go should be good to go it's all in the place i'm rocking their timber glass screen protector i have yet to, i mean it's, it's pretty decent I can't say too many bad things about it. The price is definitely high, but it appears to be compatible. Just make sure you do put install it the correct way. Otherwise, I'm, I'm afraid it's, there's really not a lot of room to breathe. So if you do install it, if you start maybe at the top, it might pop out the bottom. So just be very careful when you're doing the installation of the bumper itself. So here's what you're getting. Let's check this out. So this is really what you're paying for. Just that nice 
basic protection that shows off the beauty of that phone. So if you guys are rocking that black, any of those blacks, and want to show off that mirror black, ooh, that look beautiful. See what you're gonna, what you notice is the reinforced edges, how it's raised up on the top and bottom. So that's gonna give you the protection if you just put it face down. So you can see you are trying to give you guys an angle. See that's raised up right there. See right there, it's gonna be raised up just enough so it's not flush with the camera. So you should have a little bit of camera protection. I can't promise much, but a little camera protection. And then they do the same thing at the bottom. So that then obviously the sides, everything looks really nice. It's got a nice grip to it. Very minimal, not really a lot of weight at all. It doesn't have hardly any bulk. Now it does, I wish they would tighten the grip up a little bit. It seems a little bit flimsy. I wish they would tighten that up a little bit so it was a little more flush. I'm not sure what they could have done about that, but I wish they would have been a little more flush. Top protection. So you can, let's check out the lip. Everybody likes a fat lip. Let's check out this lip, top lip protection, a little bottom lip protection. I would have liked to have seen a little more, honestly, I would have liked to have seen a little more bottom lip protection. I think they could have done a, a little more on the top and a little more on the bottom. I do remember the last one, I think it had a little more protection in terms of overall lip protection. You are gonna get some, so if you do drop it face down, you're hoping that it's gonna hit impact this part right here first, but you're not getting a crazy amount of lip protection. Let's check it out right here volume up and down again click these these buttons are terrible I'm not, let, let's not even sugarcoat it these are hard buttons they could have made them soft i'm not sure what they're thinking they're really tough to push that's that's a pet peeve of mine i mean they look laid out very nicely but i don't know why they couldn't have made these really softer i don't know why what do you guys think about that does anybody have this particular case and or in experiences with the the rhino shield but the the buttons are definitely not clicky enough Everything else looks very precise. Look at the clean cutout all the way across the board. Nicely done. Power button. This is actually a little more clicky. That's actually a lot clickier than, so maybe this will kind of wear, maybe you can just start, you know, kind of just wear it out so it's a little bit clickier after a few uses. So maybe that's it. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But I do like the alert slider. Look at that. Easy access. No issues at all. I like that a lot. So... Let's check this out one more time. Let me give you guys a couple of different views of this. Very nice. Would I say this is a hit or miss? That, that's a difficult, difficult question because is it 25 bucks is probably not worth 25 bucks. But for everybody who wants to show off that beauty of the phone, this may be a hit. You know what I'm saying, guys? Because this, I don't really know other cases that are able to show off the beauty of the phone while maintaining at least some protection like this one. So we'll say... For a minute, straight up minim minimalist, it's probably going to be a hit. Other than that, other people, it may not be. I'll give you guys a chance in the comment section to call it. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? I can't really call it. But we will check out this impact protector for the back. So that's going to give it a little more protection as well. So anybody wanting to just raw dog this thing, you might want to think about putting that bumper case on it. Because it still looks beautiful. I don't know. It does look nice. It does look really nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit or miss. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.